This, in Trinity's 150th anniversary, we thought what better way to celebrate our sesquicentennial than to invite back the Goulet visiting professors for a series of events. And, and so I love the formulation of values as always. And so you want to be able to say we will always be trustworthy. And whether that's to our employees or to our customers or to our, our shareholders, we will always hold that value. And if you can't say always at the front of your value, it's probably not your value. Education plays a role, but expecting consumers to get angry about this and fix it themselves, that's putting too much pressure on the party that has the least control in this debate. The real issue is, is there a better way of doing things than what we've been doing it in the past? Now, Ken, you know my view is that we need to be looking at alternative ways of doing what we have been doing traditionally in the past for year after year after year. And sometimes that means going all the way back to some of the products you talked about, right? Right, we're talking about a computer or a cell phone. We have to go all the way back to when the raw materials are taken out of a mine in the Democratic Republic of Congo to work out what some of the forced labour risks are in that product. So, for example, if you're a pregnant woman and you're working in a hospital or you're a teacher and you are mandated to have a COVID vaccine in pregnancy that has far less vaccine safety data than the other vaccines that are used in pregnancy, I'm a strong proponent for maternal immunisation, but I don't feel that we should have mandated the COVID vaccines in pregnancy. The core ethical issues around this pandemic, to my mind, have centred on government and how government, particularly the federal government, has behaved.